guys. <laughs> 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 I'm happy for you guys with me. Oh, the most. Hey, everybody, what's up? It's Streamline Steamroller. Hey, okay, you guys. How's that for starts? <laughs> Bro. I'm just, um. On my computer, I'm using my phone for this recording since I don't have um improvise. Um, so today we are going to be We're going to be painting an engine, y'all. Let's see. Let's see what all we have. You're shy. Got a few. Uh, okay, what cat? Okay, guys, what engine should I paint today? I know, I know, I know. Should paint a. How about a Uinta two six six two? GP forties, RS threes, uh, ES forty eights, fours, forty fours, um, SC seventies, and dash eights. Yeah. Cool. Cool. You should paint the Vulcan duplex. Um, you should I, I only have four fours. P40. Whoever said that, shut up. <laughs> oh, I saw you have a U34 CHs. Oh, how about a C30-7? Peter, did you see my site? <laughs> this poem makes no sense. Microwave. <laughs> So, uh, uh, okay. I leave picked my, my engine. Leave me a little step and step up. Get in! I know I saw. Uh, so basically, it, I was gonna make a Christmas video for you guys, but unfortunately, I haven't had the time to do that. Ah! Ah! Only because of some crap going on and all that. And cool stuff. Whatever. Nice. Take it off pretty quick here. Oh, you got to take off? Yeah, I'm getting tired. And I, we're going to Julian tomorrow morning. Yeah, and we're, we got to leave pretty early tomorrow, too. Oh, uh, what for? <laughs> for this? Hey, guess what? <laughs> what the <laughs> hell is that? Well, the last time somebody actually posted something related to it was like four weeks ago. Related to what? Uh, William Shakespeare. The last post before I posted. Get in! Oh, Casey! You know what Casey do? You should get an Alco uh, 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 alligator nose. I have RS threes for crying out loud. D fifteen for the win. I'll see what I can do about them. Those are cool. Oh, it would be pretty daggum ugly. Just kidding. Nah. Well, I just dropped that locomotive. Oh, well, that sucks. Good thing no, it was no, a no, lifeline. Drop stuff. That's not cool. Don't do so that. No, 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 no. It's not what's going It's not a point. It's a point, man. You guys, because y'all going to find out. Why are you saying sorry to that? Sorry, had you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you guys got me up. up. Fine. We got to get going early tomorrow. Let's, um, He's going south. <laughs> Take gummit why is this? Uh, there we go. Fix that problem. So part one, that, uh, so this is how I'm going to do it. Part one is the frame and the trucks as well as all the ventilation, things that are primary. Part two is the paint job. And then part three is uh, lettering a number, which usually never takes long. Okay. So basically, this should be a good video for you guys. So I hope y'all. All right. Well, I got to get going now because I got to get up early tomorrow. Yeah. You got to do what? 
to San Francisco. And I'm going to San Diego. Oh, millions. Oh, that sucks. Yeah. All right. Well, see y'all later. Glitch. Yeah, Rose. Peter, we need the video call up and said up there. Okay, I'll try. Sure. You stole my profile yeah, picture. Time. I don't like that. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Uh, all right. Start to see you later. Dang it. Good night. Good night. Bye. There you go. Wait, who just left? Oh, Casey. Yeah. Oh my God! Like, why are you like? Why are you like rating like trolling a Shakespeare community? I don't really get that. Wait, why am I? There is like I don't really get why get why he's trolling a Shakespeare Shakespeare community. I don't know why. I thought I thought Shakespeare was one of the greatest like artists of all time. <sighs> I don't know. I mean, like, what the hell? Like, I don't really get this. Like, really. Neither do I. I mean, it's so weird, isn't it? It's so dumb. If that's right. Yeah. You ever watch Romeo and Juliet? You know, the 1997 film? Oh. No, I think some kind of reference of uh, Romeo and Juliet. Uh, no, Romeo and Juliet. Have you all oh. seen that movie? Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, that movie was terrible. It was so forgetful. I, need to see that. I want to see it again. I have not seen it in years. You are like the one person on planet Earth that still remembers that. So, Aaron, uh, Aaron, how have you been treating STB? Horribly. Uh, you guys do realize I am recording still. I know. This is funny. Let I hope you, like, let's just hope, like, I think we should, like, it's more like. It's not. Moment to talk about conflicts. Moment to talk about conflicts. On painting a locomotive. Oh. Starting to talk, talk about Romeo and Juliet movies and other stuff. Uh, oh. Sounds stupid. Uh, so. In the comments, tell me what engine I'm gonna do. Want to do after this? Oh, I should paint after this one. Uh, I'll list. I see um, Mac. Let me finish what I'm saying. Um, in the description or in the comments, tell me which engine I should paint next. I'll tell you the list of engines I have on my roster that needs to be painted in the description. So definitely check that out. Uh, oh, really? Text me off. <laughs> pushes me to the limit sometimes. Oh my god. My sister that's pushed me to the limit. Piss me off, boy. Uh, someone's making you mad and you just want to smash something. Yeah, I think I've we've all gotten mad before. Whatever. What do you mean, oh, whatever? We've all gotten mad before. Yeah, like, have you gotten mad to the point you want to smash something? Oh, don't. Hey, I have had to deal with the Mantula 2662s. Those things are nightmares. What are? Why? Like, what did they like? The reproduction two six six twos. They're a new version of the old two six six two locomotives. Oh, two six two, the prototype. The no, like they're um, HO scale model by MRC. MRC, no, I don't think I've heard of them. Yeah, well, basically they remade a model, and it is so badly made. That uh, you have to do so many modifications to it Dang. intricately to get it to work. Wait, good thing wait. I don't run HO scale. Yeah. 
Well, my guy, my viewers, yeah, you guys know I run um, O scale. Oh. I've been running O scale for almost four years. Hmm. It's fun. They're very expensive, if you ask me. Oh. Seen the price tag of the, uh, the Vision Line Big Boys? It's 200, 2007, 70, or Almost three grand. Oh my God. I mean, keep in mind, they're Vision Line, so they're bound to be that expensive. Because um, they got some really good features. But I would love to have a Vision Big Boy, but buy one. Never had the curves. So, I wasn't able to get one anyway. Guess what kind of curves I need? What? Um, I would say 072 or wider. Oh, okay. I, uh, yeah. I only have 036. Yeah, um, down at Trainland USA, which is a little novelty place down the road... They have a Vision Line Big Boy because someone donated it, and they can't run it at all because their curves are too small. Uh, that's true. Oh, that sucks. Yeah. Um, do you all know about the YouTuber Eric Strains? Of course. Who hasn't? Well, my brother. He doesn't watch. Yeah, he doesn't watch his videos. I'm like, bro, boy, you are missing out. But and, but he's not into railroading as I am, so. Well, yeah. one of my fit engines from Eric's be his Vision Big Boy. Also, there's two more of his steam engines I, I, I love. Uh, there is the Vision Line Challenger, and, the, and that FF3 844. I don't know if you've seen that video of him reviewing of the model of the 844. Hmm. Awesome. That's awesome sauce. I just like it how it just goes silent. Oh my god. Yeah. So, um... Put the links to your channels in the description you can okay um, and, um go check them out his, uh, the link to his uh, channel will be in the description down below so go check him out get him more subscribers and who is this other guy way how's a rail fan way how's a rail fan go check him out as well i'll Put the link to his uh, his channel in the description down below as well. Wait, how many subscribers does Wayhauser have? Sixty-two, last I checked. Sixty-two on Rail. What about Railhog? Twenty-two. Mm hmm. Let's see, so microscopic channels we are. Um, knowing that I only have like seventy-nine. Okay. 80, actually, 80. So, guys, I'll put the links to their channels in the description. Go subscribe to them. Share their videos with friends. Get them more subscribers. That would mean a lot to them, I think. I guess, yes. Uh, so, go check them out. Make sure and tell them that I sent you. Just tell them I sent you. They probably will already know, so. <laughs> Big no bueno. Sing up on this radiator. I don't have this much trouble. My God. Have you all had that happen to you? I don't think so. 
Like what? Do y'all paint any engines on the computer? No, I paint models though. Okay, well, I'm painting uh, your engines like of an engine on a computer. Prepare for the mess ups on the radiators. All right. U34CHs. Uh. Pops are very small. Hmm. It, I know it's the crap out of me. Sorry, y'all had to witness that. Oh, I don't mind at all. Yo, where'd uh, Railhog go? I'm still here. Oh. Oh, how come you're not talking there, boy? Ah, uh, sure. Like, I don't know. Like. There are many things like. Echo is real. Oh man! I'm playing with balls. Hmm. Uh, what I'm gonna do is go clean the windows on my uh, one ton. All right. Um, which is a pickup, by the way. For many of you guys know on my channel that I am a 97 Silverado to be exact. I love that truck. Well, it's, it's operable. Better shape. Miles. How many miles my one ton has? Nope. Hmm. I don't know oh, those boy, large. Yes. Okay. Uh, How many miles my one ton has? One hundred. Close. I said 180 already. Oh, 180. Nope. You want me to tell you? Yeah. 232,000. You both were way off. Well, about 50,000 miles. You better start maintaining that thing. I hear that a lot of modern trucks start crapping out pretty soon after my hat son is actually getting close to 300,000 miles huh. my hat son's at 293 perhaps they age well she's almost I should know about 30 Bought new in '87, so I would. Hey, real quick. Let me think here. 2016 minus 1987. That's that's 29 years. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Almost 30 years ago, almost three decades. Well, apparently my granddad had that truck for. Or 25 plus years. Almost three decades ago. Um, but then he gave that, and then he gave me keys about, uh, that's when we got the engine running completely. i tell you some March of this year was not too good for that truck. Want to know what happened? What happened? It was this March evening, and this happened this year. So, and I was just moving my truck for whatever reason. To, like, I think to get a sunset shot with our uh, Freightliner. I ran out of fuel. Ran out? I don't know how, when, because my fuel gauge broke. Oh. 
Yeah, that's some night. Sat there week. for a week. And then I'm like, I changed up the fuses. That turned out to be a bad idea. Okay, why didn't you touch the fuses? Because the coil stops getting power. You can get coils for pretty cheap. We got it. We replaced our old one and still won't work. Hmm. She's sat for almost a year now. Have you tried um adjusting the armature air gap? Let's just say that half ton of mine is now a side project. Hmm. Half ton is now more. I should say. Nothing wrong with my one ton is that the reverse went out, and that's it. Hmm. I mean, all we gotta do is just pop the transmission out, fix the servo. Yes, I'll have reverse again. At worst, we've gotta get a new servo. Mission. But I do want to convert that truck to a stick shift. Um, yeah, but let me tell you something. I am a sucker for stick shifts. I love them. Y'all know where I'm going? Like, I'm a sucker for stick shifts. Mm -hmm. Our Freightliner is a 10 speed stick shift, 10 on the floor. Uh, What was it? Eden Fuller, I think. Y'all want to know something funny? What? So my friend John um, has had like this 99 Dodge. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, he just done something hilarious. So he go, it's a three, it's um, guess what happened, guess what he does? I don't know. Apparently, he got that thing going in third gear, which is a three speed. That was, as soon as that truck hits the water. I'm like, how's that possible? Well, he asked me, how's that possible? And I go, oh, it's a Dodge. Yeah, hmm. I did that though. <laughs> yeah, well, tomorrow I got some engines I need to DCC. Okay. Got some decoders. I'm not sure when this video will be up. Probably later today, later this morning, probably. Because hmm. as soon as I get done with this part, I'm gonna start uploading right away. All right. Um, get your channel links into the description. Be pretty good. All right. Well, actually, I think I'm gonna head out soon. Uh, to go where? Um, I need to go buy some more solder. Soldering iron? No, just new solder. I completely ran out of solder. Oh, that ain't good. Yeah. What are you going to use it for, if I may ask? Um, I need to rewire some engines when I make the, when I reinstall the decoders. Oh, uh, wait, what kind of engines? Uh, HO scale, DCC. Uh, what's the make? Some of them are old man two of us, others are... Atherns? Oh, Atherns Genesis, probably? Yeah. I mean, Genesis is a pretty good company. Yeah, they do make good stuff. Um, The only HO stuff I ran, that okay. was it. That was when I was an HO scale. But now I'm an O scale. Um, I got Lano, MCH, K-Line, 
So I got three O scale. Well, K line's out of business. Mm-hmm. You know who else is out of business? Well, well um, we from a models. lot. This is out of business. I oh. think last year. Dang it! That's sad, isn't it? Uh, brass. They make their engines out of brass. Yeah. I think that's pretty. Cool. Although it's not heavyweight like the diecast, which I'm a diecast, but they really do a good job. Yeah. But you know who else uh, makes good models? Um. Well, the new Fox, that new Fox Valley company, does pretty good. Makes good models. Yeah. Yeah, they do. Um. Although the horns sound a lot similar, or that really bugs me. Yeah. Well, you should but, see what um, declares. They should definitely change the uh, horns on the diesels. Never seen a. I never really seen an Atlas engine. Before. I don't think so. Don't think they make them as much as they used to. Uh, uh, how often did they make them? You. Remember, I might I might be mistaken for a blue box, but it's all, no, all like before. after an o, after an, uh, Atlas O. Oh, oh okay. Uh, they are really good. Yeah. I think I like about Atlas their quality, like their detail they're put into their engines. I mean, it is phenomenal. It is. Compared to Lionel or MTH, that was one's out. But quality, that goes to MTH. But real good sound? Lionel is pretty well known for their sound quality. Like, they sound amazing. Well, I actually have an um, SD80 Mac. Early 2000s. Yeah. Uh, if you've been on my channel before, you know I've already reviewed my SD80, so. But I had to split it in three parts. For one, it took too long to upload, and two, it did not upload all the video. So I deleted the original upload and split it into parts. All right. Um, um, so that it wasn't too bad of a problem for me, actually. Hmm. I did the same thing with my uh, K-Line coaches that are also New York Central. Okay. I oh, just had this. Guys, I just have this amazing idea. Since my SC80 and my coaches are both New York Central, why not run them together? Like, how about that? That sounds like a pretty good idea. Although the tones of the gray because the engine is black like gray I, it kind of look would look unprototypical but it, it won't bother me we'll never say never with the railroad or a... mm. but uh, well I know for a fact New York Central never had any SD80s in their fleet true true in the 80s came out. Yeah. But I know after Conrail went out of business, well, got swallowed up, uh, Norfolk Southern and CSX took their SD-80s. So if you see a um, CSX or Norfolk Southern SD-80 Mac, that would, used to be a Conrail SD-80. So there you go.
That's a fun fact. You learn something new every day. All right, well, I'm going to head out now. All right, see you, bud. Okay, bye. Yo. So, uh, uh, I don't think we did. He did what? <laughs> Wait, we didn't roast him. We need to roast him. <laughs> we need to roast him. And, uh, <laughs> so, uh, it's 154 here in New Jersey. Like, what were you? Hey, 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 yo. Um, take a minute, I forgot what I was going to say. Crap. Oh, okay. Now I remember. Um, did you hear what I was telling uh, Wayhauser? Yeah. Wayhauser, how do you say it? Like, how, mm-hmm. wait, how do you say his first name? Aaron. Aaron. No, on his profile. Wayhauser? Wayhauser? Yeah, Wayhauser. Okay. Wayhauser, okay. I'll keep that in mind. Don't you just hate it, like, whenever you need to say something, but then you forget? Yeah. <laughs> that just happened to me. <laughs> so this video will be up probably later today. Yeah, I was thinking something like an SD40. Uh, well, that's the engine I painted, um, was a Can- uh, Chicago Northwestern SD60. Oh. The, su- the only Southern Pacific engine I've done, the 85, uh, S- that tunnel motor, uh, 8565. I'm definitely proud of how that thing mm-hmm. turned out. Like, I know the tunnel motors are still around. You're just not looking hard enough. Mm-hmm. I know they're still around. But you're just not looking. No. Wait, did, so, wait, did Santa Fe ever have any tunnel motors? Let me see. Okay. Because I don't think they did. I know Southern Pacific did. Uh, could you have a look for him? Uh, continue this video. Yeah. Keep in mind, you're going on YouTube. Well, actually, okay. I have my computer on, so it's different. So I'll still be in the call. Okay, so you're still okay, but you're still going to be on YouTube. Yeah. Okay. Um. Uh. Guys, uh this is the first video I've computer but you can hear me I yeah plugged into my um desktop hmm? google hangouts hmm? which which is actually what we're on man uh i wasn't able to find any t- Fe tunnel motors okay i know i didn't think they have any hmm. But I don't know if you know, but I'm actually starting to step on my game with realism. Like, I'm starting on the box cat, like box noses. You know, like all the SD40s, all that. I'm actually starting Mm -hmm. to put, like, control stands on them. Know where I'm going with that? Like, my... uh, Oh, guys, I'm going to put a link to show where I put my, um, like, how my SD40 T-2, SD50, and SD60 turned out. I hope you all like them. Mm-hmm. I'm just saying something to my viewers. So if you hear me saying something, like... That's for my viewers, okay? Mm-hmm. 
Uh, they never have any tunnel motors? Mm -hmm. No. Okay, the well, SC45? Look up. Yeah, I know they had SC45s. Well, I may paint another SC45 here and there. On uh, my next how to paint video, I'll uh, next engine will probably be a SD45. I love them. I'm obsessed with them. Oh, well, I wouldn't say obsessed, but you get my point. Mm -hmm. You get my point where I love them SD45s. Yeah. When we get done, when mm -hmm. I get done. Mm -hmm. Line it. Uh, uh, no. Uh, you want me to go and tell you how we how I do it? Well, I'm starting to do mm -hmm. it. This is how it goes. Okay, guys. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like uh, and a drop a comment in the description. And if you want, if you're new to my channel, click subscribe. Okay, mm -hmm. guess we'll see you all next time. Mm -hmm. So that's how I did. Mm -hmm. I just heard something go off. Mm -hmm. I thought I heard something with the hangouts call go go off. Well, I did. Mm -hmm. A couple of brown. So that's more realistic, don't you think? Mm hmm. And I'm almost done here. Just got to paint up some other stuff. Good to go. Right. Uh, where's my pencil play this? It's a complicated process. Okay. So I'm almost done, guys, and then I'll start part two tomorrow, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. or actually tonight, because it's one in the morning. So, yeah, just like that, pin these, up these number boards. What these grab irons? Okay, oh, let's see. That's good. All right. Let me have a quick overlook. Oh, that's looking good. Yo, guess what engine I'm painting? Mm -hmm. Guess which engine I just mm -hmm. got part one done with? Mm -hmm. U thirty four CH. Yeah. I, I like them. They're pretty good. Okay, so let me go in and save my progress. Drop I absolutely love. Okay, we're... Okay, so if you enjoyed this video, drop a like and a comment down below. Hey, how's your... Rail fan and Rail Hog Productions channels in the description down below, so you can check them out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and if you're new to my channel, click subscribe, and that would mean a lot. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I'm Case Kessler. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Wow. <laughs> like I can't get that in the vi in the freaking video. Uh, this is the first time I've been in somebody else's video. Seriously. That's something I'll keep an eye on with. Yeah, right, but... Yeah. Okay, let's do the outro. In three, two, one. You're doing it. Okay, guys. Okay, seriously, you gotta do that, boy. 
Okay, so take three. Okay, guys, if you enjoy this video, drop a like and a comment down below. Flip subscribe. A lot. Uh, there's going to be more to come. So, anyway, I'm Casey Kessler. Aren't you going to say your part? I'm doing the outro right now. Uh, did do you upload the video? No, I'm still recording right now. Oh. I'm doing the outro right now. Hmm. So after I say I'm Case Kessler, you say your channel name. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So here, take four. If you enjoyed this video. Drop a like and a comment down below. If you're new to my channel, click subscribe. Railhawk Productions and Wayhauser Railfans channels in the description. If I can, leave a comment what engine I should paint next after I do this one. Mm -hmm. List in my description. So also check, keep an eye out for that. Anyways, hope you all enjoy this video. I'm Casey Kessler. And I'm Railhawk Productions. And we'll see y'all next time.